Enjoy this Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Joyful Finding Show with your host, Melissa Parks. Hey, everybody. Woohoo! Happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me today. The energy has been so intense for so many people. I feel like I'm going to be talking the whole hour because people don't know what to do or they're all right. It's all kinds of stuff going on. Woo! And so how is everyone feeling this week? I have to tell you that I feel absolutely amazing. The energy is just kicking. So I want you guys to feel this today. Um, They are so excited on the other side. Okay, so I sat down to do my show, and I always do a little bit of automatic writing. Literally, two words per page. They're writing so big. They're so excited. Um, I can't even read what they said, but whoa, big energy, releasing and allowing. We are pleased. So there's a lot of people that have a lot of stuff going on right now, and it's really just time for you guys to just let it go. Okay, let it come up, okay, because I'm seeing this a lot with my clients. I'm seeing this with even my friends out on Facebook that they're, they're struggling right now. So what are you struggling with? Let's look at it for a minute, okay, because that's how we have to get past it. We have to at least look at it to get past it because if you keep shoving it away, it's going to keep coming up. And right now the energies are all about you releasing all this. And I'm telling you, as I say this, I have goosebumps from head to toe. The energy is vibrating me, so feel this energy. Help your self-release and allow yourself to be the highest and best person that you can be in this lifetime. So it's all these changes are coming up, all these things that might be fear that's popping up um, for you again. It's all this different stuff. Uh, It is, oh my God, it's just stuff. And really it is stuff. It's whatever fears, whatever doubts, whatever, there's a lot of life review going on. So maybe you're going through your life and you're going, oh, I could have done that differently or I should have done that differently or, oh, I could have treated that differently person. Let's forgive that and let's move forward, okay? It's like whatever you have to accomplish with it, whatever that is, a lot of people have a lot of anger surfacing, a lot of sadness surfacing. All these stem back to somewhere in your lifetime. So let's go back and look at it and release that so you can truly move forward because the energies that are happening right now are all about us changing and all about us having fun and all about us following our passions. You know, so if you're not doing that yet and your whole life is crumbling down on you, it's good. Trust me, this really is a good thing because you thought what was going to happen was going to be for your highest and best, but the universe says, no, we need to show you that it could be better. So allow yourselves to really step into that power and really allow yourselves to be the better you that you truly deserve to be and stop settling for less. Um, And this goes for every single one of us all across the board. So everyone, step into that. What is it that you want now? I mean, I feel like I'm not going to stop talking this whole time because the energy is just flowing so fast. And you can see how fast they make me talk when they're so excited. So with all that being said, woo, they love what, everything that's going on. Um, ask for help from the other side. Ask your angels, your guides. Ask for guidance. Um, you guys are all opening up your heart centers so much more. So you might be feeling pain before it actually opens all the way. Um, this lion's gate that is going to be in full peak tomorrow between 8 and 8 is amazing oh my god if you just go outside pay attention to what's going on around you pay attention to what's been happening to you put all the pieces together all the dots are still not connected but you are much closer to connecting the dots to understand more of the bigger picture and where you fit into this puzzle of life um so with all that it's like woo you know some of you might be a little confused what's going on why is this happening um light workers star seeds whatever you come from 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 the light you are here to be of guidance to those around you so i'm asking you all to stand in your light and allow you to help those surrounded by you um and as i say this again they want me to mention the goosebumps that i'm feeling through this so feel the vibrations Feel this energy that we are. Feel the love that is flowing through us and flowing out to each and every one of us on this planet. We have reached a tipping point is what they are calling it at this point into this love vibration. Like love has won, but you all have to believe in that and start creating from that viewpoint, um, the creating from your heart center, um, your soul essence, who exactly are you? What, and oh, here, they want me to bring this up. If you don't exactly know what your purpose is in this lifetime yet, it's okay. Don't feel like you have to find it out today. All the pieces are landing in place so that you understand the bigger picture of 
why you're here. We're all here to be of service of each other, so that's a wonderful thing. And it's all about us spreading the love and the light and exposing whatever darkness is still around us and things like that. So, And we've seen a lot of that recently, okay? So hold your ground. Uh, Put the love into Mother Earth. Bring that through you. Send it out to the people affected by anything that's bad going on around you. Because it's not just in little towns here, there, and everywhere, and not just what we're hearing on the news. This is happening a lot more often and only what the news is allowing you to know. So just know that you need to send love out to all your people and um, all the way around the world, you know, because we're all looking for peace, and that just makes me so happy. Um, so, yeah, so exciting, exciting, exciting. So if you're not singing and dancing right now, because some people are feeling the calm, okay? Um, some people have shifted so much already that they're already starting to feel a calm about things that are happening in their, in their life. They're not reacting to things that would have made them react before. Um, they're looking at things. They're choosing not to react. They're looking at it from a different perspective. I'm getting that people are doing that a lot now. So, you know, if you're not singing and dancing, then you need to find what you need to be doing to singing and dancing. And I also feel like a lot of the light codes, which I think I brought up last week, are really starting to integrate into our society. So whether it's music, written word, books, new books, um, new artwork, um, there's so much helping us to open up and to really remember who we are. And it's so funny because as I was just saying that, they were like having me pull all this junk out of the heart center. So if you guys feel energy, I love doing this with my clients. If you feel like there's anything in the way of your heart center, just start pulling it out of your way. Just energetically, if it feels like it has some tension to it or whatever, just pull it out because I feel like everybody helps me and everyone needs just a little bit more clearing, you know, so that we understand things. And I see, and when I just did that, I feel a lot more open in my heart center. So I'm hoping you guys are feeling that too. <laughs> and I want you to know that you guys have been a lot more sensitive to things out in nature. So whether it be the weather, um, energy, um, vibrations that come from the storms or whatever that's going on. There's a lot of energy that's taking place right now, and that's to help you to adjust and to shift into who you really need to be. So, again, I say feel into that. And, again, some of you have been, like, really, really tired lately, and that's okay. Allow yourself to take a nap, okay? Um, just because you're 40 or above or whatever – um, doesn't mean you can't take a nap. See, I used to hold myself back from taking naps a lot of times because I'm like, I'm an adult now. I'm not, I'm not three or four. I don't need to take my naps. But let me tell you, sometimes the energy coming down, that hour nap is going to help refresh you. That you're going to get whatever downloads you're going to need um, to help you move forward. So allow yourself to rest when you need to, and don't just go, 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 because you don't want to get yourself sick. So allow yourself to rest and everything that you need to do about moving forward. Um, it's so exciting because so many different people have so many different things planned for their future or what they would like to have for their future. And just know that it's all on the way for you. You just have to start really believing in it and allowing yourself to do that. It's so much fun. I tell you, I have so much fun. So, yeah, and all the things that you are feeling, they want you to feel it, acknowledge it, and then release it. So this is going to really help that. Because um, I feel like right now through all these energy things that we're going through right now, this is like that last purge if you so want it to be. I mean, you can hold on to it again and purge it again later if you want to, but this is really like really get rid of whatever it is. And I feel like a lot of people are doing this, people, places, and things. So you're cleaning your house still. You're, you're cleaning out all the negative people out of your life. Um, you're just cleaning out, you know, anything that's just not bringing you happiness so that you can start to stand in that happiness, which brings me so much joy. And it should start to really bring you joy, too. You know, and this portal that's opening tomorrow, um, some of you might be friends with me on Facebook or whatever, but it's like I posted this picture of the sun, and it really looks like this portal's opening because I've been drawn to watching the sun pretty much a lot this year. I have, like, I have probably hundreds and hundreds of pictures um, of the sun this year, different angles, even friends sending me pictures of the sun, what it looks like there. But you can see that she's really, and I'm not calling her a she, and I'm not even sure if she is right, but I'm calling her a she at this point. But it's like she's opening up for us, okay? So all these 
And I feel like it's this total gateway of what we're talking about. And I feel this in my heart center. So I want you guys to feel this too. So with this opening, it's like you are walking through this beautiful change, you know, because when I looked at the sun, it looked like it had these, it looked kind of like a portal and it looked like it had these different rings around it. And then it looked like a big eye too. So it looked like a lot of different things. Oh, wow. And they're putting a weird sound in my ear. But anyways, it's like all this beautiful stuff is coming down to help us transform into these beautiful beautiful beings that we so want to be. Um, and it just, it makes me happy. And I'm telling you, my heart chakra right now, people, is wide open. So I hope you guys can feel this and, um, and allow yourselves to feel this and allow yourself to feel what it feels like to stand in that highest vibration of yourself, even though it might feel a little weird because even when my body starts to vibrate sometimes, I'm like, whoa, this is weird, <laughs> you know, but then I'm like, all right, ground that energy through me. I can't hold on to it. It's not, I, I'm not supposed to harness it. I'm supposed to allow it to flow. So allow that energy to flow through you so you feel completely connected, which is amazing stuff amazing 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 stuff so with all that going on if you guys are in the midst of change and you're sitting down and you're thinking about what it is that you really want in the coming months years whatever it might be how do you want to stand in your power how do you want to feel how do what do you want to be doing do you want to be in a loving relationship do you want to be um you know, all this stuff, ooh, they still want you to take your power back. Okay, so there's a lot of you taking your power back from these outside sources, whether it is the people, places, or things. You know, it's like sometimes we get attached to material things and that to be okay, but sometimes we get into an excess. And sometimes we get into relationships where we feel like we have to fix the people and we keep getting in repeated patterns of that. So if you notice that there's repeated patterns going on in your life, look at them. Honestly, look at them. Look at yourself. That's how you stand in your authentic self is to really look at what you have going on in your life and what it is you truly want to create and what is it that you're still settling for. You know, I saw this funny thing on Facebook today. It was like this bouquet of red flags, and it was like, um, you know, a new relationship. You see all the red flags, but you're seeing them as roses instead of the flags. So really, realistically, look at things. See how they're making you feel deep down. You know, a lot of people are leaving relationships of long periods of time or even short periods of time because it had to come into your life for a certain amount of time to help you grow. So it's just amazing. I'm telling you. And my heart chakra is wide open. I have to keep telling you that because I've never actually felt it this wide. So it's like, whoo, if I had like, you know, all this beaming out of me, it's like shooting, (sighs) shooting way out there. So feel those vibrations, stand in that energy, be who you need to be. It's just an amazing, amazing time to be alive as these changes take place. Um, And stand, stand in your love, stand in your love, people. That's the most important thing. And sometimes that's the the hardest thing. So, you know, and it's about the manifestation. So, you know, what is it that you want to bring into your life? Um, And I don't necessarily mean the lottery, even though that would be great. But it's like, what else do you want to bring into your life? What are you trying to manifest? And I have to tell you, if they want me to bring this up too, that the powers of telepathy people have really kicked up. Um, I am in tune with at least five people that I'm like, they're, I'm getting their messages before the message actually comes through. Like um, the other day I was like thinking about my friend and I just got done thinking about her. And then all of a sudden the text came through and I'm like, Oh wow. And so I text her back and I'm like, wow. I was like, tell her a passage. This stuff is, you know, moving pretty quick now. And she said, and she answered me back that her husband had said the same thing. And this is quite odd and awesome at the same time because he's not as spiritually open as she is. He's been on this journey beside her, but not nearly as open. So for him to even pick up on that too, people, is a good thing. This makes me so excited for all of you out there. So how many of you are connecting in with your friends before you actually connect via either voice or you run into each other at the store or you get an email or there's some kind of communication that comes between the two of you. It's just awesome. So they want me to talk about manifestation some more. Okay, so not only that, but what are you manifesting in your life? So your thoughts are power, people. So if you're thinking negative things, that's what you're trying to draw into your life. So that's why we have to look at fear and say, no, we do not fear that. 
it's in the past and we want to look at this differently. So you have to start using your words differently. I've said this before. It's like retraining your brain because we get things set, set in our minds about how we do things or how we were grown up or what, whatever, whatever it might be. And now it's like, what is it that you truly desire to have in your life? What are the positive words that you want to create? What is that happiness you want to create? Oh my God. Um, <laughs> awesome. We are here to shine on. That's awesome. I'm going to share that. So we are here to shine on. And but through that and through our manifestation is that we are, have to change our vocabulary inside our heads and what we say to each other. Okay. Because if you're not putting words of love out there, if you're putting little bites out there, you are still in a negative space. So if you can't come from a love a place of love, all the time, check yourself. Why? Why are you doing that? Is it something you learned or is it something that you were taught? Is it still a belief that you have? Is it something that keeps you attached to one side of the political party or other and you're still putting hate messages out there or anger or things like that? Check yourself. Where are you coming from a place of love? What can you say that would come from a place of love and good for all? Um, that's what I'm, that's my main message today. I think it's got to be the love message. Okay. So I feel like that is our word of the day. And of course, that's my word of the day every day, because I love each and every one of you. I'm all about loving everyone. I always have. Um, that's one thing that has never, you know, faltered from me. So I love everybody. Um, granted, I did have some things in my past where I did not like people very much and I had a lot of anger, but I too had to work through those issues and point out in myself what they were, what I was supposed to learn, what those people were supposed to learn, what the people around me were supposed to learn. We have to look at things on so many different levels. Um, to really understand what we're doing here. So if you're starting to see these different levels, that's awesome. You know, because then you're starting to understand the bigger picture. You're starting to really remember who you really are, and you're just having fun at this, okay? I know sometimes it doesn't always feel like fun, but trust me, it is fun, people. And I'm having fun doing this today. So, you know, um, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what they're doing. They just put a blank space in front of me there for a minute. So I guess you guys needed a breather or something. So did everyone take a nice deep breath and allow whatever I've just said to go through you, release and allow so you can, you know, connect in with your highest self because it's just so much fun. Um, and allowing yourself to really heal. So this is another thing I'm supposed to be sharing. You're supposed to be trying to heal yourself every night. And I say suppose, and I suppose I supposed to get that word gone. So you are supposed to be healing on yourself you are supposed to be I mean why do they keep using suppose okay so they want you to start healing on yourself every night so every one of us is made of energy so see yourself in this golden light this white light this healing light whatever it is for you to bring your body back into balance because every night if you can do that it's like putting yourself in this little um they just showed me a little blanket of love and energy and helping, you know, recalibrate and re-energize some of yourself. And if you start caring about your body and telling it to heal, you know, maybe, you know, over a heartache, you want to heal your heart. Or maybe you fell down and you hurt your elbow that day. So put the energy there. Send love. Send energy through your body to start healing yourself. Because we do have the power to do this, people. Um, and you just have to remember that. You remember, remember, remember. They want to say that. That's another important word. Because it's about remembering who we really are. Because if we, if we picture ourselves as who we are on the other side, in the spirit realm, whatever you want to call it, out in the universe, and we're able to do everything that we need to do to take care of ourselves, heal ourselves, everything. And then we come to earth and learn how hard it is. And this is our, like, I still like to call this college because we're still here learning. But how many of you want to pass college and not come back? So release, allow, so that you can graduate. And then you can turn into guide status. So you flip back and forth because I know I've been a guide and I still want to come to earth because there's important things to do. You know, I chose this. And I chose it to be hard for myself so that I could really learn and really get a lot of the lessons done in this lifetime. And I am choosing not to take them past tomorrow. 
So you can choose that too, because I feel like this portal being wide open is just like, just walk through it and just leave everything in your past behind. It's like starting new, these new chapters, these new books, these new movies. I feel like everything needs to be new, which I really think is important too, because I've noticed lately that how many times are they going to remake, you know, some of the same movies that they've already made? Uh, I, I didn't like it the first time sometimes, and they're remaking it. So if we need new information, people, so if you're feeling creative, if you're feeling artistic, and I want you to reach out to the universe and tell them what you want to do so that you can create that because you're also here to help awaken the masses through that. So we're all here doing that together. Again, they want me to tell, tell you about the goosebumps running all the way through my body. So if you guys are feeling this too, you know that you're connected because we are all connected. So again, all these waves of vibration are flowing out to everyone around the world. And I send love and peace. That's so awesome. So I should probably tell you guys how to reach me outside of this show. Excuse me. Uh, you can tell the energy is changing, so please excuse me. So you guys can find me on my website at IamMelissaParks.com. You can reach me by phone at 941-266-9250. And, again, if you're in Sarasota, Florida, you can find me at Wild Ginger Apothecary in Gulf Gate. Um, and it's beautiful out today. We had a little bit of rain this morning, and now the, the, there's some blue skies and some, you know, white puffy clouds. But it most likely will rain again today. It is rainy season here, which is also very cleansing. So if it's raining and the weather is doing things in your neighborhood or in your neck of the woods, whatever, just know that it's there for clearing and cleansing and just embrace that a little bit and help the people around you if there's anything else going on. So, whew, and all of a sudden, as I say that, there's a lot of heat going on inside of me now so they brought the internal heat on um so i hope you guys are feeling that as well to help burn off things that have happened to you or are happening to you and reach out to some of the people that you care about you know reach out and talk to some of the people maybe you need a best friend to talk to for a little bit maybe you need a little bit of guidance and reassurance as we move forward it's not bad to get validation from your friends you're like i'm feeling this what are you feeling you know it's okay it's really okay to get validation from the outside so that you understand more of what's going on around you which is so much fun you know, um, I like it sometimes. I don't always get validation, but when I do, I'm like, all right, that was cool. Um, you know, because I just believe that everything that I'm saying is truth anyways. Sometimes we really need to start believing in ourselves. So, like, when I was in the beginning of learning all this and I would use my automatic writing as a way of getting the messages out there um, until I learned to trust what I was hearing, not only what I was seeing on my piece of paper, um, we have to really start trusting ourselves that it feels good to us. Um, that it feels like it's complete truth to you. That's about standing in that beautiful power that you have, you know, and allowing yourself to really shine. Um, there's so much changing for each and every one of you. They want me to bring that up again. Change is, to, change, is change, okay? You could either be frightened for it or you could be excited about it. It's like opening up this new can of worms, but you get to sort it out in the way that you want to. So they want me to go back to that manifestation. So if change is happening in your life, what are you going to manifest in your life now? What is it you truly desire? And it's not what you the same thing that you wanted a year ago, 10 years ago, or maybe even yesterday. You may have changed so much that you are now ready for something totally different. And you're not trying to control the situation. I need to throw this out there too, because if you're still trying to control your life and control situations and control people, I can tell you that's not working out for you. It's not working for them. It's not working for you. It's just making everybody a little bit unhappy, okay? So, but now it's like, what are you creating? I say, everyone, get out this blank canvas, this new piece of paper, and let's create this magic together because that's how we're doing it together, people. And you are each individually responsible for what it is that you start creating. So they want me to go back to how we talk to ourselves. Let's not insult ourselves anymore. Let's be kind to ourselves. Let's believe in ourselves. Let's believe in everything that is joyous and happiness, you know, and all oh, I can feel that brings people a lot of uneasiness because I felt that in my solar plexus right there. So, you know, release that, you know, release that, release, 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 release. They really want you guys to release a lot of stuff today. This is like we're jumping off the cliff all together and knew that we had wings and we can all fly. So we're trying to like purge all that stuff. So as I feel this stuff, I'm tapping into you guys because I have this thing with the collective. Ooh, you guys are are strong individuals when you put all your mind together, whether it's all into love or it's all into fear. It's, it's, it's very, it's very noticeable. So 
I hope you guys are releasing that and allowing yourself to rock and roll. And I should also mention, if you guys are listening and you have questions, hit number one so you can be put in line. If not, you guys are more than welcome to keep listening to me all day because I never have enough to say. (laughs) Or actually, they always have more than enough to say and then some because they're just so excited to have this connection with everybody. And I really want you guys to feel this energy that's flowing through me because now they got me tapping my leg up and down. So the energy is making me move as well as vibrate out of my body so um, this is helping to release 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 so that you guys can stand in your highest self there's so much going on in different things so look at your relationships are they make bringing you joy are is your career bringing you joy is there something else you'd rather be doing then create that in your head I want you guys all to be very creative and and let your imagination um Go a little wild. Dream bigger. What is it you truly desire? I want you guys to step out of whatever box you've been hidden in or whatever it is and just woo and come on out and just have some fun, you know, because that was one of my messages. I need to do everything with fun now. And, you know, and I, I think I said that last week. I'm bringing, it's like, I'm bringing back a memory. So it's like, are you having fun with everything that you're doing? Even when you're called out to events outside, you know, maybe you're feeling more obligated than having fun. So then maybe that's not something you should do. Um, so they really want you to feel into this, okay, because it's like a lot of us now are, are really in these uncharted waters. We don't know where we're going. We don't know what to do. We're just a very unsure of um, there. Maybe there's a little confusion about moving forward. And I always say it's like we have this blindfold on and our heart center is helping to lead the way. So we don't actually have to see where we're going. We just have to believe that we're going in the best direction and make sure that it feels that way. Because we need to start validating our feelings for that, okay? Validate how we're feeling in every moment. Don't swallow your words anymore. Say what you need to say because more people are really starting to stand in their truth, which makes me so happy um, when people are doing it. And I can feel it, you know what I mean? Um, it's like uh, I had this friend over the other day, and I'm like, hey, you're feeling a lot calmer, huh? And this was someone – that would get very emotional. Anytime, anytime there was change, it would be like convert into the dungeon and be there for four to five days before they emerged out a happier person again. They had to like go through all that trauma, drama, whatever it might have been. And I'm like, and, and more changes have come up recently and that the same thing didn't happen. So I'm like, you're feeling calmer now. So notice that people are paying attention to how you're acting, what you're doing. Um, and so you can help you stand in your own power because when that would used to happen, I'd be like, so what happened? You know, why did you go into your cave? You know, I would try to get it out of them what was going on, you know what I mean? So that they could recognize what kind of pattern they're in. Um, because I notice a lot of people are breaking the pattern and it's so awesome, whether it's bad relationships, um, bad habits, whatever it might be, everyone's really starting to stand in their true power, which makes me so happy, so, so happy. Uh, An emotional sensitivity, that's been going on a lot too. I feel like this is like, um, I feel like emotions are in overdrive right now. So whatever emotion you're feeling, whether it's anger, whether it's sadness, you're feeling it more intensely than you would have before because it really needs to come out and it really needs to be purged. So if you're having that anger, yell at the pillow, yell at somebody. Don't take it out on somebody else if you can, um, you know, because that's where we kind of mess up still. And, you know, if you're feeling that great sadness, have that really good cleansing cry, you know, because I feel like we're all more sensitive with all the energies that are coming down and how we felt in the past and how we feel now and all that fun stuff. So just know that we're super, super sensitive, which is not a bad thing. That's why it's also good to protect your energy so you can you can back it off a little bit if you need to. Um, just ground it. They want you to ground everything. I feel like we're grounding everything in the earth because I also feel like as I say that, I see everyone planting all these new seeds. I feel like people are getting more into nature. People might be eating a little bit more pure than you were before, which is really good because the more that we do that, and I'm not saying that I do it all the time, but there are times, but the more that we do that, it's kind of like telling everyone around us that, you know, even the companies, they're starting to get better about what they're putting in our food and stuff. So keep up the good work, people. It's awesome. 
Um, you know, and I feel like people have a lot of stories they need to tell. So if you're not telling your story yet, you know, verbally, then why don't you start writing it down? So that helps a way of purging it too, um, you know, to write your story or whatever you thought your story was, um, just to help yourself release it and go, okay, that was the old me, and now we've really started this new chapter. And I also feel like a lot of these books that are going to be coming out very soon are really there to help awaken those that are still sleeping. And also to let each other know that no one's alone because each story kind of goes back and forth between others you know what I mean so awesome stuff awesome stuff so I hope you guys are feeling all these wonderful energies and allowing yourself to ground them and allowing yourself to make the changes you know because I have to tell you that since I've let go of fear and I used to have a lot of fear believe it or not um, because it had been instilled in me in different reasons for you know whatever circumstances I had in life But it's like I finally had to get rid of it. And since I got rid of that, I feel amazing. And and don't get me wrong, it still pops up a little bit. And I'm like, no, I'm not going there. You can go back to your little box over there in the closet or wherever. You know, I like to call it the recycle bin. I'm putting you back in the recycle bin. You know what I mean? So it's like letting go, letting go of all the old. I love it. And creating so much change and so much happiness. And it's so funny. I look outside and I see a heart in the clouds. Um, so it's like bringing all this love, you know, and we need to pay attention to the messages that are going on around us. Like what's going on in the sky, you know, what's going on around us, what's going on on the ground. Sometimes you could be walking and all of a sudden there's an angel feather or you look up and then, you know, there's a dog in the clouds or something that's a significant meaning for you. You know, I want you to pay attention to everything that's going on around you. And I also want you to pay attention to if you, if you have children and you're around children, I have to tell you that some of these children are more wise than we are, which kind of blows my mind. Um, but it's like we need to be there for them, help keep them open. You know, I think I brought that up last week, too, when I was looking for a preschool for my four-year-old. I was like, where do I take him where his little spirit doesn't get squashed? Because, you know, I need him to stay open because I know what it was like to be squashed as a kid. You know, so I want to see what it looks like to flourish without ever having that happen. Um, so it's like you have to find the right energy in the right places. And your, and your heart center is going to tell you exactly where that is, which is phenomenal phenomenal which I think is important and people might be getting more comfortable in our lives are you feeling it like I have to mention that it's not all chaos for everyone some of you light workers have it pretty good right now things are all falling into place everything's happening just the way that you would like it to or even better than the way that you like it to because you got out of your own way you've already done the work of releasing and allowing your higher self to step in and help guide you through this life you know it's like I find it so exciting so exciting you guys have no idea (laughs) so so exciting so so um let's see what else is happening in the world let's see um let's see where do they want me to go from here because I feel like the energy is starting to shift so our conversation might change a little bit too (laughs) so yeah be gentle on yourself, people. If you're not being gentle on yourself, I'm going to talk about self-care, self-love, because that's something that we're not taught here. Um, but we need to start teaching that to ourselves and to our children and to everyone around us, that self-care is important. It doesn't mean that you have to go get all dolled up once a week. That doesn't always mean self-care. Self-care could be just taking that nap. Self-care could be like, um, You live two miles from the beach, but you never get to the beach. Allow yourself to get to the beach. Allow yourself to do some of the things that you have to do. Sometimes we get so caught up in life that we have responsibilities. We have to take care of this. We have to take care of that. And, you know, we have to take care of ourselves, okay? So don't forget to to do some self-care. Take care of yourselves, however that is. And I don't judge anyone that goes out and gets prettied up. I just want to say that to you because if that's what makes you happy, do that. Everyone has their own happiness that they need to follow. Follow your happiness, whatever that is. And that brings me joy that it actually happens. So, and, and as that happens, as you start doing a lot of this self-care and taking care of yourself, you really start to remember who you really are. You start to remember this light within. You start to remember that you help yourself bring joy and you're bringing joy to other people around you because they show me like this um, 
it's like you are all turning into these angels, okay? And I know some people don't all believe in angels, but you're all these beautiful angels, okay? And it's like you're just starting to really show yourselves. Um, that's how they're showing me them right now. So it's like you're really starting to let yourself shine. You're really starting to take off all those cloaks that you're wearing because I feel like there were so many different layers on people, even myself, as I started to go through my spiritual journey and really take off, you know, the victim robe, um, take off the, you know, um, totally responsible for the world road and all these other things that I was wearing that I thought I had to take care of that I didn't. So allow yourself to really remember who you really are. And it really starts to manifest in your life to start creating much more happiness and joy. And isn't that what it's all about? Happiness and joy. Um, at least we think it is. Huh? And I also get people have been practicing with their abilities. I love this. People are hearing more. People are seeing more. People are knowing, feeling all of the above. So you guys are starting to really rock and roll and really start to remember who you are through these abilities that you have. You know what I mean? So it's like I feel you guys are starting to trust your intuition more. You're starting to really believe in yourselves more. And this is fantastic. This makes them so excited on the other side. They're, they're all like cheering. I hear all this clapping and woo, you know, it's like you're almost near the finish line. So don't give up yet. Don't give up on yourself because there's, there's a lot left to explore and have the courage to keep moving forward. Okay. Cause sometimes that's a hard one too. And that should be easy through the month of, oh, that's so funny. That's easy moving through the, this month of August since it's Leo, you know what I mean? So be courageous like the lion you know what I mean and it's so funny because I look outside at the clouds and I see in the clouds right now I see I see a very large tall gentleman and I see him with a little kid running and these are like huge so just know that there's more fun to be had out there so just know that even with me talking with you guys right now and for me to see that cloud is telling you move forward have joy you know because like that little kid running that I see he doesn't fear anything he's just like woo he's full born ready to go so that's kind of like how we need to go, but we're doing it from a feeling sensation. And it's like we're being guided. So I feel like that's showing you that we would help being guided. So have no fear. Have courage to move forward into the, into the reality that you want to create for yourself. So exciting. <laughs> and self-care can be eating chocolate, too. I allow myself that one, too. <laughs> um, self-care is whatever you need it to be, okay? There is no book that says this is the checklist for self-care. Self-care is going to be different for each person. So just allow yourself to really, truly take care of yourself. It makes me excited. It really does because I never used to take my care of myself. I would go three years without a haircut, you know what I mean? Because I figure I got to save all my money to take care of the kids, and I don't really care what my hair looks like. But now I care a little bit, not as much as I, did, I didn't, but I, I don't, you know, it's not my most important thing. Hair is hair. It's going to do what it does. Um, I have a very casual look at life, people. Um, so it's like, you know, it's just what, did, what is it you make for yourself? That's the most important thing, okay? So that's that's what's most important. Self-care and finding peace within and following your passions. These are all important. Finding relationship harmony with yourself and with others, because if you don't have it now, you need to at least look for it. More of your abilities are coming in. They're just, I feel like there are a lot of them are being flooded in. So I feel like a lot of you are starting to change um, and you're starting to really feel those changes. And you're allowing yourself to really use your gifts from God. You know what I mean? Because each one of us has them. I had this client the other day who goes, I don't have any abilities. And I, I laughed at her and I go, yes, you do. Every single one of us on this earth has abilities. You just have to remember and start using them. Don't think they just belong to somebody else. They belong to each and every one of us. So I'm, you open up to them. Allow yourself to really stand in that. It's going to be amazing. You know, as you move forward and you start changing things, you are still going to be more sensitive to energies because you're starting to recognize energies. It's like we walked around with these little force fields on for a while, you know what I mean? And we weren't allowing ourselves to feel any of the energy going on around us, let alone our own. So now we're really tapping into our own, which is making us more sensitive to the energy out there. So, again, I like to use protection. I like to look like Glenda the Good Witch and the Wizard of Oz in my pink translucent bubble. I can see out people. 
people can see in, but the negativity has to stay on the outside of my bubble. You know, so allow yourself to bubble up when you need to. Use whatever protection you need to use. Um, ask your, you know, guides, angels, whoever you're in contact with for in some for information and protection if you so desire. Also, get outside. You know, this is the time of year to get outside, kind of ground in this energy, this new vibration that we want. Look and see what kind of shows up in your life while that's happening, which is awesome. And I'm getting that you guys are all teaching and learning, learning and teaching. You know, so as you learn, it's just like I've, I'm going to use me in as, as an example again. You know, as I've learned to open up to my spiritual soul self, because I had been shut off for a long time, um, I had to relearn everything. I had to re- relearn my abilities. I had to learn um, what energy was, what it felt like, what good energy is, what bad energy is. Um, we have to learn a lot about energy because everything's energy, people. This, this, this wall to that building over there is energy. This computer in front of me is energy. Everything starts from an energy. So it's like we have to understand what energy is and what it feels like to us. So as I have been learning these things about myself, I help you and I help the people that come to my classes and people that come to me for readings to help recognize what that is in them also. You know what I mean? Because sometimes they're like, I can tap in and I'm like, oh, you know about energy. But then they're like, oh, but I don't know anything about it because they don't allow themselves to know anything about it. So just open up to what's out there. If you have to look it up, Google it. Use whatever, you know, whatever. I don't care. Whatever, um, whatever um, internet thing that you need to use to get out there. I don't know why they had a hard time spitting that out. Or just tapping into meditation. Sometimes meditation is your connection so that you can download these information. You can start to see things. You can start to feel things. So I feel like that's important as we move forward too. So if you're not meditating, find at least five minutes a day to meditate or just sit quietly, whatever it is that feels good to you. Allow yourself to really connect into that higher self. And tomorrow is going to be a powerful day. So sometime between 8 and 8 tomorrow, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. on 8 8 I would like you all just to sit for eight minutes. I don't know why. Eight minutes. They want eight minutes. Um, So just sit for eight minutes and start dreaming and desiring what it is that you would like to bring into your life, what it is you want to get rid of, because I feel like it's like this washing. It's kind of funny because I kind of see this scrubbing on one side and this cleansing on the other side. So it's like um, it's very cute. So if you can imagine that in your mind and sit for eight minutes tomorrow just being, just being who you need to be in that eight minutes. Um, set a timer if you have to, um, because the eight minutes is significant (laughs) on eight, eight, between eight and eight. (laughs) Um, and it's funny because you know what, um, it's, it must be pretty powerful for me because I was at a convenience store a couple weeks ago and I got out of the car and I looked at the license plates because, you know, numbers talk to me, license plates talk to me all the time. So it said F and then lots of eight. And I don't know what the F means yet, but the lots of eights were like, whoa, that's a lot of infinity. I was like, no, we got something going on. I was like, this is awesome. Um, so, you know, I don't know. So well, whatever that means for you at this moment, but I just had to share that because I do pay attention to license plates a lot because they do talk to me as I'm driving, no matter where I'm going. So one of the most important things as we move forward, people, is that everything is okay. Everything really is okay, and you really have to start believing that. And you have to get the people around you to believe that, too. Like, everything's all good. This is all happening because we all planned for this to happen. We all signed up for all this to happen. So we know that it's going to be okay. Um, So just remember that deep within yourself, that all is well and all is as it should be. And everything is still happening in divine time. So if you feel like there's a time crunch, that's your control on that time crunch because everything is happening in divine time. So just know that everything is going to fall into place exactly when it needs to. And this happens for every single one of us. Just like I'm waiting for my next little, you know, stepping stone to show up. I'm not trying to force anything. I'm just like, all right, universe, I'm wide open. And what's my next step? Because I have no idea. I'm just like the rest of you. I'm walking through it blindfolded. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what it looks like up ahead, but I know it feels good. And I'm going to trust in that. And I'm going to allow myself to keep trusting in that until it unfolds. So that's how we're going to manifest more of this happy stuff that we need in our lives. Woohoo! Well, look at that. I have a caller. I will take that. I'd be happy to call her. Talk to Taylor from area code 914 today. Hi. Hi. 
It's Katie. Good, how, I love your show. Hi. <laughs> hi, Katie. How can I help you today? <laughs> um, um, I have a contract from somebody, and, and I'm taking a page from uh, what you were saying. Like, I'm open to it. Um, but I think, um, like, they're doing things kind of in a different way that I would. So I'm wondering if you see if I tell them, hey, like, thanks that you want to work with me, but instead of taking a right turn, let's take a left and do it this way. I'm wondering if you see if um, they'll be receptive to it or they'll just tell me, oh, no, you're not. (laughs) What I just got while you were saying that is, yes, do exactly that, because it doesn't fit well with you, so you can't step into something that's not going to fit well. So that's going to allow you to stand in your truth. Oh, and they'll honor that. Wow. Oh, great. I know, right? And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a really. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's all about us standing in their power. Because even though they're trying to do something, and I feel like it's a little, um, what they showed me is backwards. I don't know what that means. But yes. it's like they don't re- yes. They don't. Re- they don't recognize it as backwards. So you have to point it out so that you can go forward and not go backwards because it's about everybody moving forward now, not backwards. But you have to point it out because they're still in an old perspective where you've opened up to a newer one, if that makes sense. Oh, absolutely. Right on the head. Oh, awesome. See, I have goosebumps. So that's our validation. Woo! I love that. Yes. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> See, you're feeling it too. That's awesome. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Can I help you with anything else today, Katie? Um, uh, there is one one more thing if you do have a moment. What you got? Um, yes. I wanted to contact um, somebody else for one of my projects. Do you see him saying yes to me, um, that he'll work with me? It's something totally separate from this. Yes, but there's a little bit of time span before it happens. Because I feel like he's, like, far away at the moment. So the more you talk about it, the closer he comes. It's like you're turning into a magnet to make it happen. So the more that you think about it and desire it, you're creating this magnetism to make it happen, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. You're an angel. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, thank you. So are you. So are you. Thank you. Wow. All right. Thank you, Katie. Have a fabulous day. And don't forget to miss. What's that? I said, yes, have a lovely, blessed day. I was saying. Yes. Yes. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. I just love you guys and your energy out there in this world. And I love that we can just tap in and connect with each other. It just feels fabulous. And even though a lot of you aren't calling in and asking questions, I love that you guys are listening now or later and connecting into this vibration of love because I feel like that's what I am. I'm like this little generator of love and I just pump it around to everyone. I feel like I'm, I have this so funny because they just showed me like a fireman and I'm like putting love out my fire hose at everybody. So it's like, if you have bad things going on, just know that I'm sending you love. You can tap into my love vibration anytime to help you straighten out your lives and go in directions that you absolutely want to. So amazing stuff is taking place. Amazing stuff. It makes me so happy. So yeah, they're going to bring up the sensitivity and the outdoors and really to start really trusting and believing in yourself. So with the information that you feel like you're getting and it feels valid to you in that moment, then just say it. It doesn't matter to who you say it to or how they react. It's totally up to them how they react. Um, don't feel, you know, and they want to bring up courage again. So have courage as you guys move forward. It's like, you know, we're, I, it's like you show me like the little kitten, you know, it's like we grow up the little kitten and we feel all helpless and stuff and we're so little. And then we grow up into this big old lion, you know, so it's like we're able to move through things that we weren't able to move through before. So allow yourself to move through those things, which is so phenomenal and so much fun and really start tapping in and trusting your gifts from God. What are your abilities? What is your truest essence of yourself? Are you an artist and not allowing yourself to do art? Are you, you know, supposed to be a business person? 
person, but not allowing yourself to run a business? What is it you're not allowing yourself to do? Because I feel like you're going to start allowing yourself to do that. Because just because we have abilities doesn't mean we're all going to become psychics and intuitive. We still have other things outside of that. We're still going to use those abilities, but we still have to run businesses. We still have to have restaurants. We still have to have all these things that are here. And people have passion about making those things and doing those things. So reach out and do what your passion is, people. Do it. Do it. Do it. Again, they want me to mention all is well. Um, as long as you believe it is, all is well. Again, retraining your brain to really start using the words that are going to bring positive results for you. I feel like I've been a broken record this hour. You know, it's like we have to remember to stand in that love vibration. Are we putting that love vibration out there to ourselves, to others, um, to animals, to the earth, to space, to God, to whoever? Are we putting love out there? So. Remember, put love out there. They love it. And remember to take time for yourself and just breathe. Sometimes we get so caught up and we're rush, 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 rush. And let me tell you, rushing is not going to get you anywhere. As soon as you say, all right, I'm not going to rush, everything falls into place just the way it's supposed to. So, again, I keep giving you the same messages. Don't rush into it. Don't, you know, I see all these people. It's like when I was driving last week. It was like all these people trying to get past me, and we're meeting at the same light. Thank God I'm bubbling because, you know, I'm, I know that's giving me my buffer. But it's like these people are in a big hurry to go where, you know. We all end up stopping at the same red light and have to wait the same amount of time for it to change. So just slow down. We don't have to be in a hurry. That's something that we were taught. We don't have to hurry. Um, so just breathe into life, people. <laughs> And I get more people are going to get a little healthier. So if you're eating pure, getting out and exercising more, you're becoming better about, you know, connecting and stuff, which is awesome. I love that. Totally, totally love that. And I, I like to put this out there, too, you know, because one of the ways that I really opened up and really started trusting my higher self was through automatic writing. So I like to bubble up. I like to sit down with my little pad of paper. I like to put up my little protection pair, prayer and ask only for the highest and best information. And when I do that, I can sit down and the words just start flowing. And you can tell what it is when you write something and when spirit writes to you because it's totally different. And they don't, they use our same words and everything, but they don't talk like we talk. So you can tell when you're reading it, whether it's you and then it switches to them. And it's so cool because they actually, your handwriting changes too when you're doing it too, you know? So when you're talking to one energy, it might look like this and then another energy, it might be cursive. And then another one, it might be, you know, sideways and then another one might write you in numbers and then all these interesting things start to flow through you but always put up your protection so you don't have to worry about anything you know that's all that's important we 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 let's see so um you guys are working on balancing all your chakras so that's allowing your higher self to step down into you and be um connected to with you more often so if you go through your body, through your energy centers, because I'm sure most of you know what this is. So if you can feel like any of them are blocked, just move the energy out of the way so that everything stays flowing, okay? Because you have the power to clear these on your own. Um, we all have the power to clear these on our own. We just have to look at them sometimes. So it's like I said in the beginning, feel it, acknowledge it, and release it. You know, sometimes we have to do that with what's going on. Because many more people are taking your power back from outside sources, so... That is so awesome, too. You're tr truly starting to stand in your own power, and this brings so much joy from the other side because you guys are creating the change that needs to happen here. And they are so excited. Again, it's like that party I see over there. I see hands clapping, woo-hoo. You know, it's like we're almost at the finish line, so please don't give up yet. Um, there's so many things that are going to take place. And I say that, don't give up, and then I tell you you need to have patience at the same time. You know what I mean? Because that's our not hurry up thing. Um, we need to have patience that everything falls into place in that divine time. We as humans got so used to getting everything instant gratification. Like if we want um, food, we can just swing through a fast food joint and get food within, you know, a couple of minutes and not have to worry about cooking it and taking that time. Um, so now it's like, you know, we need patience. We need patience. Um, everything's happening just the way it's supposed to. So it, even when they say the word soon, I love when spirit says soon, because soon for me has been five years or so now. So, you know, soon is still right around the corner. Soon is on the way. Everything is on the way, and everything happens in divine time. We forget that sometimes um, because we forget. <laughs> we just do. <laughs> Excuse me. 
So with great joy, this week is going to be phenomenal, okay, because we're going through this little portal of change, and everything's happening for a reason, um, even though sometimes we don't always understand what the reason is. Um, Okay, so that's funny because I was seeing him, but then I didn't know why. So Archangel Michael just stepped in, and he just wants you to know that he is working with everyone this week, like everyone. Like, I mean, just like everyone. He, I'm seeing, like, Archangel Michael, you know, popping up all over the place. So just know that he is through. He is helping you this week and protecting you and guiding you through whatever the situation it is because I feel like you guys need some extra protection this week because I feel like there's a little bit of extra fears built built up, you know, it's whatever you guys have not purged yet that needs to be purged. So just know that you have that extra help out there helping you get through yourself, getting through this week, you know, and it's vacuuming away fear. It's getting rid of everything that you don't want. It's like this little, they showed me this little vacuum cleaner. <laughs> That's so funny. So our son, Michael, has a vacuum cleaner now, and he's like walking around sucking up all this bad stuff. So it's like space stuff. That's so funny. Um, so I hope you guys can see that in your head and acknowledge that, that he's around you and helping you today and for the rest of the week at least. Um, and more if you ask, because I feel like this is where a lot of the automatic writings are coming from, because this is also where a lot of our courage can come from, too, if we want to. Because um, Archangel Michael is like, he's like the man. That's why he, he blows my mind. And, you know, he's here for everybody. So just know that victory is on the way. Don't give up, people. Everything is happening just the way it needs to. And great things are coming if you allow them to happen in your life. So please allow the good things. Retrain your brain to really start using your words in a very productive manner for you, for you to manifest whatever it is that you desire in your life. It brings me great joy that says so much is changing and that I can feel the changes, that I can see the changes within people. And I'm recognizing so much of the shine in each one of you and let it shine more. Let your beautiful star center shine, diamond center, whatever you want to see this beautiful heart center as see it as exploding and being so much more than it already was into so much more into what you want to be they're uh, they're just like again i see them on the other side there's still a party going on they're like this is exciting you know what i mean because they're all waiting for us at the finish line <laughs> which is so cool because they're ready to party with us when we get there whatever kind of party you want to have you know so definitely start paying attention to everything that's going on in your life Start changing your words, start paying attention to your abilities, start really standing in your power, clear your space, physical, non-physical, thoughts, brain, um, you know, clean house, you know what I mean? People, places, and things, really get rid of what no longer serves you. Do a good cleansing on what you already have. I feel like I'm doing that. I started... Uh, I get into the most tedious projects sometimes. I don't know why I'm sharing this with you. Maybe because they're tedious and I have a little OCD sometimes maybe. But I was like, oh, I need to clean that air return grate to my um, air conditioner because it runs all the time, you know. So I spent my whole time cleaning that, and then that led into cleaning something else, and that led into cleaning something else. So just know when you get into cleaning one thing, it kind of leads you on this path of cleaning things that you didn't even think you were going to start cleaning. You know what I mean? So my house is all torn up, but I'm going through my spring cleaning right now, and I am really clearing space this time. I know I've been saying that a lot this year because this is probably the third time that I've gone through my house and through the closets and stuff because I never seem to get rid of enough. Um, I hold on to things that I, again, never used in the last three months, six years, ten years. And why am I holding on to this? It's just holding space. So I feel like I need to really purge a lot of that, too, and really clear my space and really cleanse my space and then that will feel so much better for me you know so I feel like a lot of you are doing that too so you know have fun with it you know go oh I remember this share the memories if it had a memory or whatever and just know it's time to get rid of it it's time for it to move on so you can collect new things or create new space so through all of that and through everything that I've talked about today you are all becoming more having more spiritual understanding, why things happen. Maybe you're starting to understand the layers of how things are happening, um, or you're starting to look at the different perspectives. You're starting to get a different view. Much more of you are putting the dots together. Much more of you are getting the puzzle put together. Um, it's starting to make more sense of why you're going through what you're going through. 
So just know that as you move forward this week, there's going to be a great amount of change. It's going to be so much fun if you so desire it to be fun. And have joy as you move forward. Have joy, joy, joy as you move forward. And as I get ready to wrap up my show today, I want to thank each and every one of you for popping in, calling in, listening in, tapping in later. I appreciate every single one of you. I send out the love vibration to all. And I just want to let you know again how to get a hold of me. If you want to find me on my website, you can find me at IamMelissaParks.com. You can reach me by phone at 941-266-9250. And if you're in Sarasota, you can find me at Wild Ginger Apothecary here in Gulfgate. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have the most fantastic week because I'm telling you, the changes that are going to take place this week for you all are just going to be amazing if you allow them to. So allow yourself to stand in your power. Allow yourself to stand in your authentic self. Allow yourself to stand in your truth. Allow yourself to start dreaming bigger and creating the changes that you need to create for yourself. And with that, I bless you all and see you next week. With love, 